Sup guys, Juggalo23451, and that's right, today we're going to be talking about how to connect your computer with your connect. Did I get it? But anyway, let's get started. The first thing you, you want to do is uh, go ahead and go to my link uh, description or description box, and you're going to go ahead and download this guy right here. You're going to download fast. 0 decimal 0 0.05 after you've done that you want to unzip it into an area where you have easy access for it okay once you have, excuse me have done that you're gonna go scroll down to where it says installation and you're gonna go and click on Microsoft connect sensor module kit or whatever right here there we go sensor connect module this is the one you want to use right here. Okay. You're going to go there and you're going to go ahead and click that. Uh, once you do that, you're going to go to the bin file. You're going to download this. Okay. Once you download this, uh, you want to scroll down. And then you're going to download this first link right here, which is the OpenNI file. You want to download that. Okay, once you download that and install this link right here, sorry for the fuzziness, let me move it back. After you download and install that, you're going to go scroll down to um, where it says install notes, and it's going to say install uh, unstable night, or N-I-T-E. And uh, basically, click on this program, install it, but make sure you da uh, copy and paste this uh, key right here when you're installing it it's going to ask for a key make sure to put this in copy and paste it if not the program won't work okay after you install that you're going to go to your bin file that you downloaded you're going to open that up and it's going to be called Alvin uh, or Avon 2 sensor connect whatever Go ahead and click on that, click on bin file, then click on sensor connect right here. This right here is for the uh, Windows. They also have it for Mac and Linux as well, so you can use your connect for those operating systems as well. Go ahead and click on that, install it. Then after you install that, you want to go to that fast program that you unzipped and put it in an easy location so you can bring it up pretty quick. Go ahead and click on that, okay? Double click on that, you're going to click run. After you click run, you're going to get this little screen right here. And it has depth camera resolution 640 by 480, 30 frames per second. Keep it at that, go into a different mode, it won't work. Okay, you're going to go ahead and hit connect or connect. And then it's going to, at the bottom, it's basically going to scroll down. Uh, with some stuff saying hey we can open it or hey there's a problem so on and so forth okay once you're done doing that um, pretty much you gotta stand in front of it and do a pose I'm gonna try to do that with my camera I'm just gotta move my crap out of the way so one second I'm gonna have to zoom this up as much as I can and hopefully this doesn't fall okay so there we go this is the best I can get it and I apologize alright now I'm moving my chair and then uh, pretty much I hope you guys can see me I'm raising my one hand and this is all done by the infrared sensor. Okay, what you're gonna do is put your legs together, your arms up in the air like you're showing off your muscle. It's gonna be calibrating. Once it calibrates, you're gonna see a red line, blue line, green, whatever. And pretty much it should be uh, more or less following you like pretty much perfect this is a free program so it's really really accurate surprisingly and I'm moving my hands really fast and it's pretty accurate for 
uh, being it free or for the program being free excuse me this is also the same program that if you guys saw World of Warcraft uh, using the Kinect sensor for his PC this is the exact same program which is awesome I am not a War World of Warcraft person but hey if you're in a World of Warcraft good for you um, I will post this link for this program right here in the link description as I said before and I will also uh, post up on how to use the Kinect sensor for the World of Warcraft game if you're into that as well as I get more information or how I learn how to use the program I should say I will make sure to relay the information to you guys like I want to use this for like uh, Battlefield, Bad Company 2, Call of Duty those types of games which would be really awesome but I guess that's it comment subscribe rate this video you guys have a great day bye